going on guys? It's K-Dub here with another episode of Crypto Zombie. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an awesome day today. Bitcoin has been going on an absolute tear lately. We have had not one, not two, but three legs up. So what about a pump? Well, you've already had a pump. Yeah, but how about a fourth pump? Well, all short-term Bitcoin price aside, in today's video, I do have a special guest. Now, we don't usually do a lot of interviews on this channel, but I had to get our good old buddy Crypto Face on the channel. He has been absolutely smashing it lately. He has literally had back to back to back trades and it's all using his key indicator market cipher so i figured we'd have an opportunity for some of the new subscribers out there who are not familiar with him to actually learn how he uses this indicator for his trading and also what he thinks about the current bitcoin situation i'll give you a hint he's actually extremely bullish despite all the geopolitical turmoil that's actually going on right now so in today's video i thought we'd do something a little bit different we'll get back to the usual to tomorrow Tomorrow's video, but for now, definitely stick around. We're gonna have some fun and have a little bit of a chat with our good old friend, Cryptoface. Yeah, Cryptoface, welcome back to the channel, dude. Thank you so much. It has been uh, long overdue to have you back on the channel. We have had you on before. Some people may know you, some people may not. Lots of new subscribers now, absolutely killing it, killing it lately, man. I've been watching you past week and a half specifically. You've been literally making calls, exact targets, nailing them. Now, I know you do have a bit of a secret weapon. We've discussed that before. So I was hoping on today's video, I had to get you on, by the way, maybe you could kind of go over over some of the strategy for how you've been able to do this, what you're using, what you're seeing, whether or not you're actually bullish. There's a lot of stuff going on macroeconomically right now with you know the, the stimulus coming out, the Trump dump, the Trump pump, right? Maybe you can kind of just go over all that today. And uh, yeah, we can maybe also just touch on some macro uh, stuff as well, whatever you've been looking at, if that sounds good. Yeah, sure, man. Uh, first off, thanks, thanks for having me on. It's always, uh, it's always good to be here. And uh, dude, you have like one of the most positive communities in this space man so um I, I love coming on your channel so thank so, you thank you also for everyone watching um he's not wearing a mask necessarily because he's afraid of catching the virus from me <laughs> it's actually been a thing he's been doing for a while so maybe uh maybe they're copying you i don't really know but um yeah it's the whole crypto face image it's part of the look right yeah it's crypto you know when people ask me they're like why are you wearing a mask i'm like i'm crypto face man like this is crypto <laughs> it's about it's like the zorro yeah. privacy crusade um you know, people always like get, not all, all the people, once in a while, you know, people give me some some stuff or wear the mask, but there's a lot of YouTubers that don't even show anything. Yeah. You know what well, I'm saying? Look, so, I mean, look, all, all, all mask jokes aside, I know there's always somebody that has something to say. At the end of the day, man, I mean, literally, you are one of the few that, if not the only trader that, that actually literally calls his trade in his group makes starts a live stream shows the trade live sits there for about an hour while the trade happens and then closes the trade sometimes live as well which is yeah. pretty incredible i you really don't see anybody actually putting the, their money literally on camera where their mouth is the way that you do and i think that's a really credible thing you know you really do put yourself at risk you know you could make a bad call you could have a terrible trade live and i think out of um you know and, and, and let's be honest not every trade is is a winner but i mean out of like yeah. your past dozen trades i think the majority at least 10 of them have all been yes. hits and i think for the most part like you know we say on this channel as long as your wins are outpacing your losses that's really the key right yeah so i mean let's get into it man let's talk what so what like how have you been able to make these calls what are you seeing in the charts right now man like what is really just you know giving you that sort of signal that you know you're able to be you're, you're nailing all these back to back basically yeah um uh, i'm uh you know i put a lot of work into um i i have my own indicator package which is all that i use to trade it's called market cipher um so let me turn on screen share man we'll just kind of yeah let's let's look at some here. charts while we talk that'd be great right, let's see so i look I, like a ghost by the way who doesn't know just, uh, not to cut you off but for everyone who doesn't know market cipher actually came out about a year and a half ago it was a little bit of a crude uh you know design to it and you've really ramped it up and i've had a look at it lately and it's an absolutely beautiful indicator to look at I mean, Thank it's got you. like so many things. Maybe you can kind of go over right now on the screen what you're looking at and, and sort of yeah, like- Yeah, you have sharing disabled. So uh, go oh, ahead how and do I, enable that for me real How quick. do I, uh-oh, uh uh-oh. All right, guys, I may have to cut this part out because I need to figure out how to do this. All right, boom. Sorry about that, guys. I guess my Zoom settings updated themselves without me knowing. So now that we are here, what are we looking at, man? All right, so you're able to see my uh, my chart, right? Yep. 
Okay, cool. So um, uh, yesterday, or it was two days ago, um, was the video where I made the 11,300, 500 call, and then literally two hours later that hit. And so um, I, I know there's a lot of stuff here for someone who's never seen like the market cipher indicator package. So I'm not going to go all over it, but um, I'm going to just touch on a, a couple like basics. Um, so right here, we're looking at the two day, um, actually the daily is where, is where I got it from. So, um, market cipher is, is comprised of like three second, three sections. There's a, which is like the symbols on the chart B, which is all these waves. Um, and then there's another part as well that I don't have on the screen right now. So, um, what we're, what we're looking at is market cipher B, which is the, these waves down here. Um, two main core principles indicators that I use on every single trade that I make is these green and red waves and these blue waves. What these green and red waves represent is the flow of money. Um, I like to put it as, um, you know, like whale alert on Twitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is like my visual whale alert. When money's coming into something, it's going to grow in value. When water goes into dirt, the plants are going to grow. When water leaves, plants are going to die, right? So, um, and then these blue waves are a momentum indicator. And there's all kinds of patterns and stuff that, that come along with it. So basically, one of the main strategies is when we see a big blue wave and then smaller blue waves, this is a zero line right here. We call it anchor and trigger waves. This means that momentum is strongly pushing up, right? Um, the money flow is kind of neutral. There was other indications that were bullish, but long story short, this was something, a pattern I've seen a hundred times before. It's, it's trying to push up. And so we got in, th this is a leading, these are leading indications. So what, gives me the edge in why I am I'm trying as humble as I can say am so successful in trading is because I have made leading indicators that that show me what's going to happen next not this is what happened last time right so um we nailed that move so right now we you know we we came up and we're kind of just in like the chill zone right now so right now we're just waiting but moving into the future, Bitcoin to me is bullish on macro now, the daily, the two day, the three day. Um, so a couple examples here, we're, we're looking at the three day and we see that we have these momentum waves right here. So like this one right here, right? We see that, okay, there's a little wave, there's a big one here and then this bang shot up, right? And now we are in a very similar situation, basically the same, same type of wave, right? And so I, I, I believe that in the next good few, each candle's three days. So in a week, two weeks, there's no reason why we, we can't be at $12,000. Well, what are your um, thoughts? I mean, not to cut you off about the indicator and we'll get into the fine. indicator later if anyone's interested in actually, well, actually, why don't you tell them right now? I mean, we might as well get it out of the way. Obviously you do have this available um, if some, if people do want to use it. And actually, let me just throw you a curveball here because I already can hear the, the people. If you're such a good trader, why do you have to sell an indicator? Because that is definitely a question that a lot of people yeah. will ask. And you are a good trader. I will give you that. I've seen Thanks. it. But, you know, and your indicator is amazing. But, you know, why not give it out for free? Or why, 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 why charge? If, you know what I'm saying? Because people will ask that. Yeah. And then we can kind yeah. of segue into how you can get it. I'm just, that's a question I know they'll ask. That's a cool question, man. I'm glad uh, you, you asked that. Um, you know, there's this like a uh, fallacy where it's like, you know, if, you, if you've discovered something and it works for you, why would you share it and, and why would you like help other people? So uh, number one, it, and anyone who's successful has, has what they say, the average millionaire has seven streams of income. And uh, I, I feel it's, my, it, it's anyone's duty that if, if you can create like a good product or service, it's your duty to sell it at a fair price. Mm -hmm. um, and so I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, like, it, you know, if a McDonald's cheeseburger is really good, you know, they, they sell it where they make enough profit to pay everyone. And 
Well, you no. have had you have had people working on this for you too in the past. So you I mean it's not like you're this has actually cost you money to develop. I'm sure. It, it's a market cipher. Me and my uh, a mentor of mine, um, my partner, a mentor, it took us two years to to make market cipher. So there was blood, sweat, and tears of back testing and every so much work put into it. And um, yeah, it, there was no way I, I I could keep this secret. I, I believe in, in helping people. And like I said, I think it's completely fair to sell it at a fair price, man. You know what I mean? So market cipher is the truth. We have an 82% uh, satisfaction rate and we're, we're changing people's lives. And I know it gets me excited. I'm not trying to sound salesy, but at the end of the day, we got the numbers to back it up, man. We have mm -hmm. thousands of people using it. There are, if you do get market cipher, dude, we just, we, we are just releasing our market cipher user guide and there's no one has done has done anything like this before dude check this out there's pages little page sounds we have all the definitions of everything there's a robot voice see we, isn't, that, isn't that cool we, um, <laughs> we, 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 we needed something like this honestly because it is a very complex if you actually take it for what it is because you even have the uh the stop the stops and the resistances and you have all these other layers to it which um, you really don't even need all of those layers, in my opinion. But if you really want to dive deep into this thing, it really could, yeah. it could get a little complex. So, so I'm actually here's, glad so you here's how I explain it. Because I don't want people to get like overwhelmed. So Market Cipher is a very simple, can be very simple, but a very deep indicator. So um, what I suggest everyone does if they get Market Cipher is I have what is called the core strategy. And I have three tutorial videos on what, three or four indicators are used for the simplest core strategy. And then you can build on that. And like, dude, market cipher people have, they add, they'll use other indications they have. They, everyone kind of just make it your own and what works for you. But there is a simple core strategy with market cipher that has proven itself to work for people that are brand new. Yeah. So that are, why don't, that I mean, for everyone that's watching, we're not going to go super in depth today. If you feel like you're missing out, we've actually already done a video previously and I'll actually link that video below. It might be popping up above. Check that out as well. But in today's video, I think it would be really cool to actually just show everyone specifically. You did make three amazing calls. You make a lot of good calls, but recently you've made three very good calls. And I think it'd be cool to take them through the actual steps of what you saw and what you did and how you got to where you got as far as the trade. I think people are really interested in seeing that okay. sort of, you know, um, signal versus result. All right. Um, so uh, let, let's go over kind of like just the, the, the basic steps uh, of the three like main things I look for to make a trade with market cipher than the core strategy. Okay. So um, first thing I look for, right, we're talking about these green and red waves, which is again, the flow of money. There is a zero line. If it goes below the zero line, it's in the red above it's in the green. So the first thing I'm looking for is a solid direction. So um, let me go back to my last um, biggest trade. My, my most profitable trade time this year was in July. Okay. So here we see that we went deep into the red. Money flows in the red. And then it started hooking up right here. Right. So the first thing I look for is a solid curved wave. And I'm looking at about like two thirds, three fourths in to make sure it's confirmed going upwards, right? So that's the first thing I look for is like right about here is the money, is money coming into the market, right? So I know overall it's going to be going up. That's the first thing I look for. Second thing are these momentum blue waves. What we look for with these blue waves is a big blue wave like this, and then a smaller blue wave afterwards. So overall momentum is going up. So we have right now two indicators showing that things are going up, right? Um, there are plenty more than these lines are your RSIs. When it's green, it's oversold. So we know that it's oversold. So buy pressure must be coming in entered in longs all throughout here and we just nailed it going on up now also you have to measure the time of your trade so if we go to let's say like the 15 minute and 
actually, let's go to like a small time frame to see if it works, right? So here we go. We have came into the red. We're on the 32nd, by the way. Okay, just to kind of give like a real time, real time kind of deal. We were came into the red. Red was coming up like right about here. Two thirds into the wave, we'd say right here. Let's say if we entered a trade, price was 11307 and the price went up to $11,340. Now, when we are looking to exit is when you're in the green. So reverse side, um, right now we're in a bull trend. So I long in bull trends. I don't like to shorten bull trends. If we're in a bear trend, then I'll short, don't like to long, right? So right now we see, okay, we're in the green, but this green might be topping out, right? Our momentum waves cutting in deep. So I, if I entered a trade right here, I should have already taken profit when we were thick in the green in here, right? Enter in the red, sell in the green. We're short in the green, exit in the red. So my guess is, is as of right now, you know, this green's coming down, price probably going to come down a little bit. This is so, on the 32nd, keep in mind. By the time people yeah. watch this, it could be totally different. I mean, if we were doing yeah, yeah, a yeah. bigger, it's just, this, it's just, this is like extremely, like fast extremely fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. If, if you, if you, if you scale it, right. Just on different time frames. So, um, the, the yellow waves are a form of heavily modified VWAP, which is volume weighted average. So normally you want it to be also going in, in the, in, in the same direction. So what I personally look for is the money flow waves, the money flow waves, the momentum waves and the yellow waves just to all be going in the same direction, dude. And then there's, like this green dot is a bullish indication, right? So that's a little, a little extra sprinkle, a little bonus, right? If we see, okay, waves coming up, you see a little green dot pop up here in Market Life Array. That's just another plus sign. So um, that, that's pretty much it, dude. It's really not complicated. It was designed for Bitcoin, right? Because that's from my, I love Bitcoin. I've always had a special gift with trading Bitcoin. And it works for any asset. For, for gold, dude, I just nailed a gold trade. Let me pull up gold actually and show you um, what I did with gold. Let's see here. What time frame was it? Okay, boom. Here it was. So I entered a gold trade here, okay? So look, we came into the red, right? Now we have a decent, nice curvature here. So I like to get in around two-thirds of the wave, like when it's kind of confirmed that it's kind of going up, we have anchor waves i call them anchor and trigger waves a big wave smaller wave going up boom entered right here yeah you know zigzag but the price is going to zigzag but overall it's going up right now where i exit is when, when i'm decent in the green you know and then we scan our time frames go left to right to see okay do we have more room looking at the six hour nice anchor trigger wave i think gold's got a little more room here right a little more room measure it out right? So we go right here, measure it. We got, that's t six days. So I'm looking maybe three to six days that I'll, I'll take maybe gold profit unless there's more bullish signs on the higher time frames. So, you know, a lot of people really try to make trading seem complicated to make themselves seem smart. Um, and I, I, I never worked at Charles Schwab or Goldman Sachs. I don't have my series six. I was just, an, just a normal guy, you know what I mean? And, and I just put the effort and back tested and found what works the most time. And to me, um, you know, people say there's technical analysis and fundamental analysis. I think they're missing one. And I call it money analysis, tracking where the money is going. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think separates market cipher from, from other indicators is it follows the money, follow the money. And, and I think overall, as long as you're just have a little discipline, you sell in the green, enter in the red, sell in the green, shorten the green, exit in the red, and, and you'll be okay, so man. You said, you said right now, you said you are bullish. You said you're not looking to short. You're looking for long setups. You believe we're in a bullish trend. Now, recently, there's been a lot of fear with, you know, obviously the virus and the Ooh, lack of stimulus. Okay. I'm sorry to cut you off. Sorry yeah. to cut you off. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, What's going on? On the four day right here. This is th this I did th I, this first time I'm seeing this. We have this nice tiny little trigger wave pushed up against the zero line. We have our VWAP is 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 coming up. 
the money flow, it is green. And yeah, it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of neutral or maybe coming down, but this, this, this four day is really, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing right here because when it is tight against this zero line, there is a burst that comes up. That's, that's literally what, that, that is the trade I just hit off on the daily. These little, boom, tight against the zero line, bang. This was the trade we called out two days ago, the 11,300 call, and three hours later it happened. Mm -hmm. So the four day, to me, looking nice. I am sticking in my longs. I have three, four trading accounts. That's another thing, is different accounts for different time frames. Don't do the 30 minute, get stuck on the four hour. If you have one trading account, ain't gonna work. You're gonna mind screw yourself. So I, I, I don't see any reason why we can't, we can't get up here into the 12Ks, man. And yeah. um, within, so within now, each four candle, days or, four or just, days. Yeah. <laughs> so that's 21, 24 days. Okay, so like three so weeks, yeah. I'm liking these next two, three weeks, zombie. Loving mm -hmm. it. Okay, so then you're not worried about anything. If, if Trump comes out tomorrow and makes an announcement, you don't care. You, I mean, what do you think? Because it, it has been relatively, we've seen a lot of sort of correlation between markets traditionally and, you know, gold and Bitcoin. And, you know, Bitcoin's not acting as a safe haven asset. What is your take on that? Do you not even care about that? You just stick to just what you're seeing on the chart? Or do you actually have sort of an opinion around that? Um, uh, a little bit of both. You know, right now the fundamentals are overall bullish as far as money printing, right? Um, there, it's, uh, if, um, I mean, it, it, outside things can always like affect, fundamental stuff can always affect the market. Here's, here's, here's what I've found. If, um, like, if, if, if we're in a downtrend, if there's bearish news, that's when like it can push it down, right? Um, so of course I care, but there's just so much money printing. The, the truth is, is there is no asset that is like a safe haven for a uh, depression, right? So like gold, for example, in 2008, everything went down. Everything goes down. The, the, the safe haven is too short. So if, if we're in a depression, I, I think Bitcoin will sell off too. Um, although it is a little kind of special scenario, like if there's like currency issues, but in any depression market, every asset goes down. Mm -hmm. um, another thing. Oh, another thing. So um, for the past good few months, I have this theory that I've come up with based off of the six hour, which I call the Mount Everest theory, which is based off these big green waves right here. Okay. So this is something that I've learned in a bull market. In previous bull markets, and in, really in any patterns in Bitcoin, it loves threes and fours, sometimes fives, but it loves threes and fours. So in these bull runs, we have the money flow come up huge to these levels. We have one, two, three. In previous runs, there's been four, right? Sometimes five. So for the past few months, dude, the reason why I have been murdering the game is because when we had this first huge Mount Everest peak right here, I said that there is, there has to be at least three. And so I knew there was another Mount Everest wave coming. So when we came down into this red, this, I was betting the farm. Now, I believe that there is going to be one more, at least Mount Everest wave, right? Now, in a perfect world, we come down into the red and would enter right here. But there has been about one out of every four like Mount Everest waves. That it doesn't go into the red. It stays in the green, just turns into another peak. And I think that just might be what's going on now. So I'm long. I think we're going to have at least one more bull push. Hopefully, there's a fourth one after that. The Bitcoin <laughs> patterns act in fours more than any other number. Um, so, uh, other than that, I'm not really looking too much farther in the future. You know, I'm just trying to get paid, get my community paid. But right, ultimately right. though, you are bullish and you are seeing the potential for that, that chance. I mean, you could see 12,000 Bitcoin, $12,000 yep. Bitcoin, like, you, I mean, within three weeks you're looking at kind yeah. of. So yeah, I mean, and it, why, I, why is that not doable at the prices we're at right now? Now yeah, I mean, everyone else talks about a hundred thousand dollars and stuff, you know, like you, you won't see me saying stuff like that. 
It's fun. Um, it's fun to speculate, but I mean, we're, I mean, we're not going to hundred K tomorrow, but long-term I don't see why we couldn't. I mean, if things continue the way that they're doing over time, you know, you're talking another cycle, you could see some crazy numbers, maybe not by Christmas, but um, yeah, I mean, I think once we do hit those levels, once we do get to that 20 K Bitcoin, I think that it's just going to be like retail mania 2.0 again, like how yeah. it was in 2017. But in the meantime, yeah, I mean, it's really, like I said, it's great to hear that because as far as what, what's going on with the stuff, there is a lot of negativity. There is a lot of bearishness out there. And actually, I've been a bit of a Bitcoin bull myself. And I do sometimes get people like, you're too optimistic on things right now. But yeah. I just want to reiterate the fact, and I've said this multiple times on my channel, like you said, there has been bad news. We've had bad news come out and Bitcoin is getting what? A 5% hit and then recovery. Well, we were in this triangle you know, we're not, we're not seeing those 20%, 30%, 40% dumps like we were in previous situations. Yeah. When we were like in this uh, triangle that we just broke out of, like money flow was kind of coming down. Like this is when Trump got sick. We came down, you know, a little bit. But dude, we've, and like even just right now, we've been holding this 11,003, 11,004 on a weekend too. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, weekends can always be a little fuzzy. But uh, going into this week, I, 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 there's stimulus talks. I think we got fundamentals back on this up. I got, we got a lot of confirmations, indicators that, that are going good for us. And so um, you just got to master your time frames. You know, it's like, like are, are you able to wait those three weeks or are you going to flop and grow up and sit and stare at a chart all day on, on the 30 minute? Yeah. A lot of people are like, you know, crypto face, I can't trade because I, I can't look at charts all day like you do. And I was like, no, I look at a chart for 30 seconds. Yeah. You actually don't look at charts as much because I, I've, I've actually asked you about that. Cause I said, man, I don't have time to trade. And you're like, I, I don't really spend that much time either. You basically just wait for these confirmations. You know, you don't rush the trade. And I see a lot of people making that mistake as well, trying to jump in, you know, trying to catch the wave and, you know, you wait for the setup. So that's really the important thing is, you know, time, you know, you can't time the market, but if you do have the signal and it's coming to you, then, you know, take your, take your opportunity with the risk. But you know, if that risk has passed, then know that there will be another opportunity, but you might have to be a little bit patient for that. I, uh, fortunately I've been, I've been, um, the most accurate person I know as far as timing the market. And the main key is this little ruler over here, right? All measure. Like if we're in the red right here, I'll draw a line that goes into the green and be like, okay, Overall, this is going to take estimation 116 days. We're on the two day, right? And so I, I'm always measuring. I'm always using this measuring stick to, to estimate time on a trade. And sometimes you're, 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 you're off. Sometimes you nail it within two, three hours like we did, you know, a day or two ago. Yeah. So, Yo, um, before we go, I got to ask you one question because this is like the divider of the community. CME yeah. futures gap. Do they matter? Do the gaps actually matter? What do you think? I, I guess, dude, you know what? I don't really follow them that much myself because mm -hmm. I don't think I need to. Um, but I'm from my little brother does. He loves CME gap stuff. And um, I'm pretty sure for the most part, they do fill. Well, we have uh, one down at like 9.7. So like, will that actually be the one that proves could that? Be, but it could be, it could be 20 years from now <laughs> when that gap fills. You know what I mean? And so- <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, sure. Um, it, it's, uh, this market's a little different. You know, it's, it's a newer market. So um, it, yes and no, you know what I mean? I, uh, I, I don't think I've ever like made a trade just off of a CME gap. I, 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 I got everything I need um, mm -hmm. to, to know if it's going to go up or down. Yeah. And, uh, it's working for us well so far, man. We're I mean, you are, you, are, you are more of a, a you know, you do, you do swing trading, you do scalp trade. So I know you are more focused on, you really just want to essentially make money as much as you can in the market. I know that's essentially where you're coming from here. Yep. So, okay, super quick, tying everything together for everyone out there. Market Cypher is available. If you guys are interested, you can head over to the website and, you know, thank you CryptoFace for actually offering an awesome promo to everybody out there if you guys yeah. if you want to actually let them know what that is uh, biggest promo we've ever done um we have three different options uh with market cypher there's a five month a year and a lifetime um and some of one of the it's 50 percent off 40 percent off um comes with tutorials comes with the uh i've paid uh 
Discord, customer service mods. So there's 24 seven assistance and help. Um, I mean, if I can have single mothers and, and people that have never traded to, to top 10 in the world, BitMEX and Bybit traders use it. If I can do it, I, I mean, if it's, there's no reason, you know, uh, someone else can either. If you have two eyes or one eye and ear and some mm -hmm. limbs, you know, there's, there's no reason <laughs> for, Absolutely. For, for not being successful. No reason. There you go. And like I said, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate the, the crypto zombies. I'm sure they, everyone in the community appreciates you offering the, uh, you know, 50% blowout for the next week. You know, if you guys yeah. want the, the link is below, um, you know, I do appreciate it. Obviously transparency. I am, you know, I am an affiliate with market cipher. However, this is like literally an incredible deal. You're offering 50% off, uh, and you can literally join the discord. You can go in there. Crypto face is very transparent. He's not trying to, you know, pull any wool over anyone's eyes. He tell, I mean, literally I'm in it. He calls the trade. He goes through with it. He posts it. It's very, very transparent, but at the same time, also having this tool for yourself will actually help as well. Because, you know, for example, you may not be around all the time or you may be busy yep. and there's still opportunities out there for sure. So I really appreciate you coming on the channel, man. Thank you. It has been a uh, long overdue. And for everyone who's not subscribed, you haven't checked out crypto face. He doesn't post as frequently as, you know, someone like I do, but he's very, specific with the indicator i mean basically what you do is this indicator and that's your sort of meat and potatoes of your whole vibe but it works man so yeah, yeah. is there anything is there anything you kind of want to leave my viewers with before you go um man you know i uh i think your view your community is like the just just the the, the best community honestly like you guys are the most positive um and uh no nah, just thank you for being here and um you're, you're, you're a stand up dude. And there, there's enough to, to go around. Like there's no reason to be losing. Yeah. I don't do, um, b buying random shit coins and DeFi and just chance that yeah. you, you don't need to just throw some dice there. There, there's stuff out there that does work and, and can give you leading indications. You just got to spend a little time and don't overcomplicate it. And just, man, if, like I said, if I can do it, you know, anyone can. So thank you, man. God bless you. I appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed that sort of breath of fresh air of a video discussing Market Cipher. And if you are interested, obviously it's not for beginners. This is for professional traders. Obviously you shouldn't risk more than you can afford to lose. But if you are interested, he was kind enough to offer all of the Crypto Zombie subscribers a 50% discount. If you want to get Market Cipher, you do have to have a trading view account, obviously. And uh, yeah, check the description for that. Links are below. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much again you guys rock you're the reason that i do this every single day i love you my name is k-dub this is crypto zombie until next time stay crypto and of course peace out